Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I have a quick perfume haul and it's just going to be like a first impressions. I want to show you guys some fragrances that I have added to my collection and some body mist. I also have some PR that has been sent over to me and I wanted to share those fragrances with you guys. So if you are interested in seeing some new fragrances in my collection and fragrances that I will be talking about in the near future on my channel, just keep on watching. guys so i hope that you guys are doing great today i am going to get right into the haul and i'm going to start off with the products that i purchased with my own money and then i will share some fragrances that were sent over to me and i'm just over the moon about them i want to share them with you guys so let's get right into the fleur releases because i have been loving fleur so much lately and when i saw these two body mists i knew that i wanted to pick them up so the new body mists are coconut skin and caramel skin so when i saw these Coconut is one of my favorite notes in fragrances and so is caramel, especially for fall and winter. Caramel will do it for me. So I picked them up. I got the smaller bottles. I didn't want to get the big ones because I just don't need big products. I don't need 3.4 fluid ounce bottles of perfume. I don't need huge body mist because I'm constantly trying new things. So whatever is the smallest size, that's what I'm gonna pick up. So I'm gonna start off with Coconut Skin. I'm going to be putting the main accords on the screen and the top notes for this body mist are Coconut, Palm Leaf, Caramel Sorbet. Middle notes are Tiari, Flower, Jasmine, Some Back, and Frangipani. And the base notes are Sandalwood and Amber. A lot of the times when I look at the, this perfume reminds me of section, what I think it reminds me of, it's almost never there. It's very rare when it is, but I'm gonna let you guys know my first impressions because I've only worn this once. So coconut skin, unfortunately, I don't think is for me but i'm definitely gonna give it a few more chances maybe like two more wears it's kind of like that coconut that i told you guys in my coconut perfumes and my coconut body mist that i don't like too much where it's kind of like too sunscreeny and kind of like pool there's something about it that's really really nice and that coconut is beautiful i don't think it's the coconut that's bothering me i think it's the frangipani and the tiari flower to be quite honest. Um, so when I first sprayed this, when I saw palm leaf, I automatically thought that this was going to smell like Ellis Brooklyn Miami Nectar. It's not. It reminds me of something else. Now that I'm smelling it, it definitely smells better than the first time that I wore it. So I'm just going to give it some time to sit it's definitely the sandalwood and the amber in the base that when they start coming through they really calm down the frangipani and the florals so i really do like that but i will say if you have way hair and body mist in saint bart's i don't think that you have to go out and get coconut skin i feel like they're very very similar and the only thing and the reason why i prefer the way one right now is this one to me has more of like refreshing notes and juicy notes i think this one if i'm not mistaken has pineapple i don't remember too good but it definitely adds like a juicy more refreshing touch and the coconut skin is definitely more nutty coconut so they do have a little bit of differences but then they also are very very similar in the way that they smell the way that they wear i would honestly suggest that if you can smell this in store if you already have the way one smell it before you get it just so that you don't get too much of the same thing because i was kind of like this kind of smells like something I have in my collection already. But I am going to give it some time. This is just the first impressions. Right now, based off of first impression, if this for me is like a 10, this one right now was like an 8. Maybe it just needs a little bit more time to get it together. But that's coconut skin. And I will definitely be updating you guys once I use them some more. If you watch my channel regularly, you know these hauls are my first impressions. They're not my final thoughts and with time I will update you guys and let you know if it's leaving, if it's staying. Moving on to caramel skin. Top notes are caramel and bergamot. Middle notes are caramel, milk, and vanilla bean and the base notes are brown sugar, sandalwood, and musk. This one also reminds me of something but since it is smelling a little different today I want to see if I still pick up the same thing. But the first time I smelled it I kind of thought of Sol de Janeiro 71. Not exact. I don't know. I don't know when I'm... It's not exact 
to the Sol de Janeiro one, but it kind of puts me in that mind frame of like a dessert, really sticky caramel and very creamy and sweet. So I'm definitely going to be waiting until fall time to even give this a chance because right now this is just a no. I think that it can smell a little sour because it does have that milk note in there, but I don't want to judge it because it's really, really hot. So once it starts cooling off a little bit or maybe at nighttime before bed, I'll give it a wear, but I will say it's super duper gourmand. The coconut skin to me is not gourmand. It's more like the beach, the pool type of coconut. And this one's definitely to me gourmand. It's super duper gourmand. It's thick, it's creamy, it's like tonic, it's sweet. So, so far that's what I'm getting from it, but I will definitely play with that some more and update you guys. Next up is a fragrance that was recommended to me by so many of you guys that I lost count because I did tell you guys that I wanted like a sweet mango that was not patchouli that was not white florals that was not all that extra stuff I just wanted like a nice juicy mango kind of like my good energy uh, perfume that one is very like sweet and refreshing and flirty so this is a fragrance that everyone has been recommending I had to pick up a travel size because this just get, kept getting recommended over and over. This is by Brown Girl Jane. I have never tried any of the fragrances from this line. It is new to me. I did want to pick up like the Discovery set to try the other ones. So here is the packaging for this one. It's really pretty. It's like a pink color. I really, really like the way that they did their travel size. It just, it looks so cute. Only thing is that you can't really see See through it but this the main accords are sweet tropical fruity warm spicy amber vanilla powdery white floral terpenic and fresh and then the top notes we have mango agave nectar and jasmine middle notes are amber ginger and musk and the base notes are vanilla pimento and sandalwood and people do compare this to fame by Paco Rabanne which was a complete no for me and also the Yara twos I forgot how to say that one but those two were just not for me so I wanted to pick this one up and give it a try and I will be 100% honest the first time that I sprayed it like the first initial blast was so good it was really really juicy and sweet and refreshing mango but it did start other notes did start to kind of take over on my skin but in the air this smells divine oh the opening is so you guys the opening is literally so good a sexy mango but you still have the mango the jasmine is not taking over which is what i really dislike in mango fragrances is that they shove that jasmine in there and it turns into just white floral department store like super fancy smelling and i'm just like mango for me i want it to be more tropical easy going juicy fresh this one smells really good i feel like on me it would smell way better than smelling it directly on the skin because when i first sprayed it like the whiff was amazing so i'm definitely going to actually i think i'm gonna wear this one today since i'm not wearing fragrance there's something in there that's a little strong i don't know if that's that pimento because i've had other fragrances with pimento that did not go well for me but overall it's really good it's juicy it's flirty it's really feminine and really nice take on mango juicy and fun and girly but then it still has like this elevated feel to it as well so so far i would give this one like a 7.5 8 out of 10. it's not a complete like love at first sniff just because of a few notes that i'm Kind of picking up here and there but it's much better than the other mango fragrances i've tried except for good energy and mango skin i really liked mango skin when i first got it lately i'm picking up a little bit more of the patchouli so i'm hoping it doesn't change too much for me those were the fragrances that i bought with my money i want to share some fragrances that were sent over to me and when i tell you i'm loving this so so much and i want to share this with you guys describe it to you guys if you feel like it's something you would like check them out but when i tell you that these smell amazing from first impression i'm definitely gonna update you guys i always have to say that but this is from a brand that i've never tried before and they are beautiful they it's called highs and lows but i believe the brand is called diad candle it's probably diad candle i'm not too sure and they just reached out they asked me if they could send over some fragrances no commitment to it nothing just can we send them over to you and if you enjoy them give your thoughts and that is my favorite approach 
when it comes to creating content. I don't like to feel like I am being forced to do something or anything like that. I want to be able to speak my mind, give my opinions, and when people just send things over, that means that they're confident in their product because they're not really asking you for anything because if you like it, you're gonna talk about it. So they sent over two fragrances and I'm gonna leave all of the information in the description box if you guys are interested in checking them out. They're new to me, I'm still learning about them, but when I sprayed these, they're both so beautiful. So the first one, when I sprayed this one, there's a reason why I fell in love with it at first sniff. So this one is called Highs and Lows. The packaging is just super cute, minimalistic, and just really pretty. It's nothing too out there, very simple, nice to have on top of a vanity. Hear me out on this fragrance. So highs and lows. By the way, this retails for $60, so it's not super in the hundreds or anything like that. I feel like it's a good price. I still have to test the longevity, but this is described as a deep and sweet fragrance with notes of vanilla, musk, and ambrette. Need I say more? The floral notes help to balance the sweet notes so the musk really comes through and lasts on the skin. This scent is the most musk forward from the modern musk collection. Feels like sitting in a cozy corner booth at your local spot ending the night with dessert. Top notes, apple and freesia. The freesia is not strong at all. Middle notes are jasmine petals, lotus flower, sheer orange blossom. The base notes, ambrette, musk, and vanilla. This falls into that scent category that I have been loving lately, which is just a second skin musky easy to wear you can literally wear this anywhere any time of the year any season i feel like this just smells so good so this kind of reminds me of skin from clean reserve but that vanilla i think comes through a little bit more in this one so imagine like a vanilla musky scent that ambrette makes it a little airy and light it's a soft musk it's not strong it's not headache inducing one bit and i will say this is definitely more for casual bedtime running errands it's not going to be one you can wear it anywhere but i wouldn't reach for this if i was going out in the evening or out to dinner this is more just i want to smell good in jeans and a t-shirt or in a nice jeans and a white blouse with my hair pulled back jewelry i just want to smell like effortless that's what this smells like so i'll definitely be updating you guys i'm going to be putting these on my maybe my september tray i'll give it a little bit of time to sit and i think like these will be really nice to bring in fall so that brings me to the next one when they emailed me and i saw this fragrance this is what made me say yes so i'm going to show you the card for the fragrance it's called Rise and Shine. Do you see that? So it's cinnamon and pastry cream. So Rise and Shine is inspired by our favorite morning treats, coffee cake. This sophisticated gourmand fragrance has notes of cinnamon, pastry cream, and toasted almond that dries down creamy and warm due to the amber base notes. Feels like a lazy weekend morning enjoying a fresh warm slice of sweet cinnamon coffee cake with a creamy latte chaser. Top notes are toasted almond, cardamom, and cinnamon streusel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. And the middle notes are cafe au lait, which is like, I guess, latte, pastry cream. Base notes are vanilla bean, sandalwood, sheer musk, and amber. Yes. This is going to be one that I'm going to be trying out this fall season. The packaging, I do like how they have like different shape packaging, even though it's the same brand. That's very unique. And it has a little coffee, little cinnamon, almonds. Right off the bat, made me think of Rosie Jane Dulce. It also, I was a little worried because I kind of thought of Ellis Brooklyn, I think it was called Vanilla Milk or Milk. And that one didn't work for me, but this one's, this one's good. I think it just needs to be sprayed out. The notes need to get a little thicker, but I definitely pick up on almond, the cardamom. The coffee is not too strong. It's not taking over the fragrance. It's definitely gourmand. And I feel like even though it reminds me of those fragrances, this is unique and it has its own little spin and touch to it. This one's definitely stronger than and thicker than the highs and lows. Highs and lows for me is like a, I'm gonna say nine out of 10 just because I wanna try out the longevity and the performance before I say it's a 10. And then this one, I would also give it 
like a nine out of 10 and I think it's perfect for fall and winter. This is really, really nice. So thank you so, so much, Brita and Carly, which they are the owners of the brand and they are beautiful, they're twins. And I do need to read up more on the brand for sure before I give like more deeper reviews, but they also sent over some little samples. So if you guys would like like a sample with me video or something, I could definitely do that as well. Last but not least, you guys, the Seven Virtues sent me a PR package and I just, I can't. They sent me Coconut Sun recently and I thought that that's what they were going to send when they reached out. And then I get this box in the mail and I just lost my shit. <laughs> so here is the box, which is so pretty. And there are three fragrances in here, one full size and two travel sizes. So this is the best of vanilla. And I got a fragrance that I decluttered a few years ago and I kind of want it back in my collection and I can't believe that I got it. But this is Vanilla Woods. I used to really, really love this fragrance and then I kind of got tired of it after a while. I got excited because since I haven't worn it in a long time, I just know it's going to hit. So here is Vanilla Woods. This is very similar to me to Casablanca from Swiss Arabian if you've ever tried that one. This one also kind of reminds me a little bit of La Belle. Like the, I believe there's pear in here if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there's pear. So there's pear, rose, vanilla, and caramel. The pear is the same type of pear that you get from La Belle. But in here, it's more vanilla, it's woody, and it's not as masculine leaning like La Belle does on my skin. This one's definitely feminine and sweet. It just smells really, really good. So I'm really, really happy to have this back in my collection. They also sent a travel size of amber vanilla. And then they also sent over Santal Vanille, which every time that I went to Sephora and I sprayed this, I didn't think that it was for me. This one is definitely more spicy. And I forgot to mention, amber vanilla is a favorite of mine. I love it so, so much. I have a full size. And this one is warm and sheer, and it's amber, pink carnation, and vanilla. So the vanilla woods was described as a warm and sweet gourmand. This one is warm and sheer, which I agree. It's very airy and light, but very nice. Kind of like glossy AU, but with more vanilla in it. And then the Santal Vanille is myrrh, vanilla, and sandalwood. So that myrrh, it was just kind of like not for me. But I'm going to keep it since it is a travel size and maybe give it a try this fall and see if maybe I end up liking it. But it does have kind of like that Santal 33 type of vibe for sure. But with a little bit more vanilla. So this one's definitely more feminine. So I'm very, very excited to try that one this fall. So that brings me to the end of this perfume haul. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Comment down below if there's any fragrances that you want me to do like a dedicated video or just talk about anything more in depth. If you have any questions, let me know. If you've tried any of these, share your experience with them. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. and I will see you guys in my next video.